Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, the staff report for this bill spends a lot of time talking about used car dealers and getting their sales tax uh, into the uh, California Department of Tax and Fee Administration within 30 days. And it, it, it just seems rich to me. Uh, three months ago, we were bragging about being $21 billion uh, in, in budget surplus, and now we're doing a float game where we're asking one industry to pay the sales tax a whole lot sooner, and it just seems like, wow, how quickly the mighty have fallen. But why don't we just require that used car dealerships file their sales tax returns every month instead of quarterly or semi-annually or annually. Uh, we spend a whole lot of space on this, and I'm, I'm just curious, there's, there's nothing to be gained. Interest rates are just about zero, so I'm just, I'm just sort of curious why, and I think we're just talking, I mean, trying to have the time value of money is just de minimis, so I'm just wondering why we're spending so much time uh, playing the float game with this industry. Mr. Viswanathan, you care to respond? Yes, uh, Senator Morlock, uh, on this issue, I'll speak briefly and then uh, I'll turn it over to my colleague Jay Chamberlain who may have additional comments. But the way that we are thinking about this proposal, this is not a, a really a time value of money proposal or a necessarily an acceleration proposal. So in that sense, it's different from uh, some of the proposals that we were, I was, uh, that Senator Dolly had asked about where it is about when certain payments are paid or when they can be used. This case is different. This is about used car dealers that are actually uh, maybe not remitting sales tax at all, or certainly not in the amount uh, that they're legally obligated to remit based on the actual value of the sale. So this is really an enforcement issue, uh, making sure that everyone is on a level playing field more than a time value of money issue. But let me turn it over to my colleague, Jay Chamberlain, uh, who can talk about additional detail. Yes, uh, thank you. Um, uh, so uh, as, as Mr. Vismalton said, uh, this really is not about accelerating revenue. It's about trying to close the tax gap uh, that exists right now not for the majority of, of used car dealers necessarily, but for a certain segment of used car dealers who are not uh, remitting the sales tax that they collect on cars. Um, and so this is just a mechanism to make that, uh, to, to make that linkage more close and so that, um, so that they would be required to remit that and not be able to get away with not uh, remitting the sales tax. So we're going after bad players. But we're, but we're also spending $20 million to go after good players with going after independent contractors that have been... So I'm just trying to figure out how we're allocating funds and what, what the priorities are here. And we, so I, maybe I'm just, uh, just uh, exasperated. I, I, I will stop there. Thank you, Madam Chair.